Okay, here we have an angle for a special situation. The velocity of the box is uh, going to be constant. We need one more item given for this question. Let's say we know that the force of friction going against the motion has a value of 41.31 newtons. Our job in this case is to find the magnitude of the force applied uh, acting on the object. Okay. Well, let's draw our little triangle here again. We know that this is force applied y, and we know that this is force applied x. Okay, and uh, we have a force applied x pulling in this direction, and friction force opposing it. Now, since the velocity of the box is constant, we now know that the force of friction is equal to the force applied in the x direction. Of course, we do have force gravity downwards and force normal upwards. Now, when writing the force net equation on this, we have force net equals force applied x minus force of friction. Now, let's prove to us that these two are equal to each other. Well, since we're at constant velocity, then we are going to write in a zero for the acceleration. So, we have 18 times zero equals force applied x minus 41.31. Thus, force applied x is equal to 41.31 newtons. Now, how do we get the force applied? Well, just looking at our triangle here, if I write in uh, 41.31 right here, then we need the hypotenuse of this triangle. And we have the adjacent side. So we then know that the cosine of the angle of 23 is going to be needed. So then I say the cosine of 23 is equal to the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. The adjacent side has a value of 41.31. And then divide that by force applied. Okay. Well, that's dividing 41.31 by the cosine of 23. And the answer for force applied is equal to 45 newtons.